Hey everyone, what you're looking at is the first print, the first decent print anyway, with my new Ender 3. Had some trials and tribulations, a couple of little parts that had to be modified to work correctly. Main problem was the bracket that the lead screw for the, the Z axis is connected to it isn't quite at a 45 degree angle. So the lead screw comes down at an angle and then you either have to leave everything loose to get it to line up or it's binding. So of the different options I had available to me I just decided to go ahead and give it a little bit of a bend after pulling the, um, the extruder assembly apart and just bend it until the, the um, lead screw pointed straight down into the collar and put it all back together and that solved that problem. I had zero luck at all with the original build plate. Couldn't get things to stick to it. And the problem was it's dished in the center. And it's not huge, but it's enough to where when you get the nozzle adjusted properly on the on the center, you're dragging out at the edges or out, you know, within an inch from the edge. So now it's printing a um, the glass plate, the mirror plate solved that issue. So now it's printing a uh, circle square design that was recommended by Angus over on Maker's Muse as a test print. I'm a noob to 3D printers, got this yesterday, assembled it, and tried to print the dog last night on the bed that came with it without a whole lot of luck, and um, decided I need to learn a little bit more. So I went through and um, watched some videos and went out and bought the mirror and cut it to fit and much to my wife's chagrin or laughter more like it bought the can of Aquanet hairspray and that works pretty amazing the um, nozzle height can probably be set can now be set without you know it being too high in one place and too close in another and um, with the adjustment of the lead screw so that for the z-axis so that it's running smoothly it's a really smooth running machine I know um, somebody else I think it was Neris over at today's 3d print said his his stepper motors were running hot but mine are not mine are barely warm to the touch I'm 26 minutes into this print and they're barely warm to the touch I also have a small CNC tabletop milling machine and I notice when it gets dry and it's binding or when I'm attempting to cut too fast for the material type that I'm cutting the motors will get really hot and that's a sign to either stop clean and relube the machine or slow the um, slow the cut down a bit so here it is it's going along really well very happy with the overall quality purchased from Banggood. They had some issues, but um, nothing's bent or broken, and um, got it in about three weeks. So I'm happy. I'll come back with with um, maybe a more in-depth detail about that that um, lead screw problem, so that those of you who buy this and run into the same problem can um, can know how to fix it. I think also over at um, Neris' YouTube channel, he's got a link to a to a bracket that you can print to um, space the Z-axis motor out so that it's at the correct distance for that angled lead screw. But honestly, I think the lead screw should come down straight and not be angled. Didn't have a lot of issues building it. Some fiddly parts and the instructions are, um, I don't know, they're probably on a scale of 1 to 10 for China, probably an 8. On an, uh, an American or Western nation scale, they're probably a 3. The, um, the directions that are on the XD card are far better than the printed ones. You can blow them up and get a better look at them. So you definitely want to go do that before you just start trying to work off the the little printed instructions which are pretty small but mine's actually quite quiet so I'm not I don't see any need to put silencers under anything or it's running cool don't seem to need heat sinks on anything so I'm pretty pleased 
Talk to you guys later. Bye now.